Hello and welcome to the Career Sprints YouTube channel. This is Rohit and we like to produce content that helps you with your professional development and continuous learning. This video is related to the content around the PM Box 7th edition and in today's video we are talking about the functions associated with projects and this is the second part of the video. We released the first part of the video yesterday and if you missed it you will find it in our video playlist or you can search for the PM Box 7th edition functions associated with projects and go and watch part one. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now the next set of people that I would like to talk about are people who provide business direction and insight. So a good example of a person who provides business direction and insight are basically product owners or product managers, right? Or uh, anyone who is, uh, you know, is, is basically responsible for uh, clarifying the direction of the project, defining the vision of the project. Uh, so this could even be like a CEO of a company uh, in a smaller organization, or it could be someone higher up within the organization, right? Um, so, uh, you know, these are people who, you you know, uh, so, so for example, a product owner is a person who's responsible for prioritizing the pro product backlog, right? So a project can have a backlog and, you know, they could be responsible for prioritizing the uh, the user stories or the requirements in the backlog that is basically taking decisions on uh, you know which functionalities should be implemented first and which ones would be implemented later right um so they these are people who would who 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 would coordinate with customers or stakeholders and you know then they would groom the backlog right and uh, they would communicate the project vision to uh, the stakeholders and to the project team um and uh, eventually you know they would bring in uh, you know, a certain level of direction and insight uh, to the project, which can enable the project to achieve its its business goals. Now, the next function that I would like to talk about is uh, people who provide resources and direction. So, you know, we spoke about people who provide business direction and insight, and now we are talking about people who provide resources and direction. So these could be like in a smaller organization, this could be the same person right uh, so like i said for example the ceo could be providing business direction and insight and the ceo could also be the person who provide resources uh, for the project and funding for the project as well but in a larger organization you know they could be two entirely different people right like for example if your project is just a part of a bigger uh, project or like a program then you could be a product owner or a product manager on your project but you would be you could probably be working with someone senior up within the organization who provides the resources and the and the direction for the project as well right but primarily people who provide resources and direction are people who are um, you, you know who they are they're basically people who can communicate the the vision of the project the goals and expectations of the project to the project team and to the broader stakeholder community uh, they can also be advocates of the uh, of the project uh, so basically you know they are people who can uh, uh, who can take certain decisions about the project they can provide uh, resources uh, related to the project so these could be uh, financial resources or these could be uh, you know, human resources, uh, and they basically possess a certain level of authority and decision making power uh, in the project as well. So, um, so, you know, some examples of this could be like a project board. So if your if your project has a group of people who are taking decisions on a project, so they can be they can go by the name project board, which is more of a prince to term. Uh, or it, they can also be called like a steering committee or, you know, the person, if it's a single person, it can be called, the person can be called an executive or like a sponsor or an investor <clears throat> or a strategic partner and so on and so forth. So they go by different names, but the main idea here is that these are people who, uh, you know, sit right uh, at the helm of the project and uh, you know they they provide the decision making power they provide the authority they provide the resources and uh, you know they could also be taking decisions on uh, escalations related to the project so if there are any problems in the project or uh, any issues that need to be taken on on which you need to take certain decisions they can be responsible for that as well and then finally <clears throat> we are going to talk about uh, you know project governance so, um, you know, when we talk about project governance, the word governance basically means oversight, right? So, uh, you know, people who are associated with project oversight, 
they primarily ensure that the project is aligned with corporate strategy uh, and with industry laws and regulations. So you can think of any laws and regulations that exist within your industry. Uh, you, uh, and these are the people who ensure that the project is adhering to such laws and regulation within the industry. So for instance, a project sponsor uh, could be an example uh, you know, of a person who is responsible for governance or it could be like a steering committee uh, that is responsible for governance or it can even be uh, you know cascade down to the project manager you know who would basically implement the the govern the 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 project governance uh, as as part of his or her project management activities so uh you know some examples of what is involved in governance is uh, you know when you when you have good project governance uh in your organization, then you would be able to have better monitoring and control of the project. You would have, uh, you know, you would be able to establish a project accountability. You would have, uh, uh, be, you would be able to manage risks and issues much better. Uh, you know, plus there would be, you know, decision making in the project, uh, in the organization or related to the project would be swift. And uh, finally, you would be able to align stakeholder expectations as well with regards to the project. So, you know, these are the different functions that are there. Now, this is just, a, you know, an overview or a high level list of the different kinds of people or functions that you would need in your project. This is this is not a comprehensive list. Uh, you know, if you think that there could be other functions that could be associated or that are associated in your projects that bring value to your project, you can write in the comments of this video. We'll be more than happy to uh you know to to see your comments in the video and if you like this video if you if you enjoyed this video you know the drill so you know go hit like uh subscribe to the video uh or subscribe to our channel and we would be producing more videos like this uh in the coming days so keep an eye uh you know on the on the channel and uh, <clears throat> i wish you all the best for your pmb exam